Welcome to Alosta! Hello travelers! Are you ready to embark on an adventure like no other? Then pack your bags and join me on a journey to Alosta, Malaysia. As a solo travel vlogger, I'm always on the lookout for destinations that offer unique cultural experiences and Alosta certainly did not disappoint. Join me as I explore this hidden gem of Malaysia and discover the magic that lies within its streets. During my solo trip to Alostar, I explored several fascinating places that left a lasting impression on me. My first stop was the Alostar Tower, which is the city's iconic landmark. The tower stands tall at 165.5 meters and offers breathtaking panoramic views of the city. It was a surreal experience to be able to see the city from above and appreciate its unique architecture and urban layout. The tower is open to the public and visitors can take an elevator to the top and enjoy the views from the observation deck. Next up, I visited Aman Central, a modern shopping mall that offers a wide range of retail and dining options. Another interesting stop was the Big Clock Tower located in the heart of the city. The tower, which is over a century old, is a significant landmark that reflects Alostar's rich history and culture. No trip to Alostar would be complete without visiting the magnificent Masjid Zahil, one of the most beautiful mosques in Malaysia. The mosque's stunning design, intricate carvings and beautiful architecture left me in awe. The mosque is a testament to the region's Islamic heritage and is a must-visit for anyone interested in history and culture. For a taste of local life, I headed to Jeti Pekan China, located along the Kedar River. I also explored Lorong Jeti Street Art, a vibrant street art scene that adds colour and character to the city. The street art features murals and graffiti that reflect the city's culture and heritage. One of the most memorable experiences was dining at Cafe Diam, a charming cafe located in Chinatown. The cafe's carbonara with duck was one of the best I've ever tasted. The dish was perfectly balanced with the creamy sauce complementing the tender pieces of duck. The lemon tart was a refreshing and tangy dessert and the iced coconut cream coffee was the perfect way to cool down on a hot day. Another highlight of my trip was visiting Rumah Kelahiran Tun Dr. Mahathir, the birthplace of Malaysia's former Prime Minister. The house has been turned into a museum that showcases his life and career, and I was fascinated by the stories and artifacts on display. The museum provides insights into Malaysia's political history and the life of one of the more prominent leaders in the world. For the nature lovers, I made my way to the Mao Kriang Recreational Park, a nature reserve located on the outskirts of the city. The park offers stunning views of the Mao Kriang Limestone Hill and is a popular spot for hiking and outdoor activities. Thereafter, I made my way to the Paddy Museum, stopping by the Sawa Paddy photo spot, a picturesque location where I captured stunning photos of the Paddy fields. The museum offers an immersive experience into the region's paddy farming heritage. Its exhibits showcase the history of paddy cultivation in Malaysia and its significance to the region's economy and culture. Visitors can learn about the different stages of paddy farming from planting to harvesting. Overall, my trip to Alosta was a wonderful experience that left me with a deep appreciation for the city's unique culture and history. From exploring historic landmarks and museums to indulging in delicious local cuisine, Alosta offered me a glimpse into a world that was both beautiful and fascinating. The city's friendly locals, stunning architecture and rich heritage made it a destination that I will never forget. And that's just a sneak peek of what Alosta has in store for us. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more incredible travel content. See you in the next video. Bye!